Welcome to video from the DigitalLifestyle.com New Windows 11 build to look at This is 25145 for Windows Insiders on the Dev Channel You can see it here running on my Surface Go um, There's really not a lot to see in this build though There's quite a couple of important things in it First of all, uh, if you are a Surface Pro X a user, you can go. You can go ahead and install this build now because the resume from Hibernate bug has been fixed. So that was if you had a Surface Pro X, it wouldn't resume from Hibernate. Now it will, and so you can get this build installed without having to worry about that. The other thing that's that's added, which is not not useful for me, but for, so I know it's very important for some people, is the Narrator Braille uh, driver solution. So uh, Braille devices will be able to switch between narrator and third party screen readers as the narrator will automatically change braille drivers so uh, I know that's important for some people so it's good to see Microsoft add that right what has changed on here well another thing that they've done if you remember a while ago that the um, over on the accounts page they added the Microsoft 365 subscription details and uh, that's what I've got here um, they've also added the OneDrive standalone. So if you're not a Microsoft subscribe, a Microsoft 365 subscriber, but you do have a, a OneDrive account, say a 100 gig OneDrive account, uh, that will show up here with your card details and how much you've got and when you need to uh, renew it and so on. So um, for me, it's uh, it doesn't show that because I've got the uh, 365 subscription on there, but that would show that up on there as well. So there's a new privacy setting um, which shows you some uh, what's been using your devices if you go to settings privacy and security so you can go for say location first you can see what's got permissions um, for location if you scroll down you can actually see when things last access your location data so I can see Teams, uh, Windows Explorer and so on as access your location data or I can do the same thing go to say camera so nothing's accessed the camera in the last seven days so I can look at say what's access the microphone you see Camtasia using it which is what I'm using how to record it Edge teams and so on. So you've got those extra security settings to see what's using your uh, your what's using the permissions. Uh, suggested actions is now available to all Windows Insiders in the US, Canada, and Mexico. I'd actually forgotten about suggested actions. That's where you can click on a phone number or a date, and it will um, show you the um, things like uh, make a call or. Um, calendar or appointment or something like that it only work it doesn't work in UK English so that's why this machine has been switched into US English is where I was testing that and we've still got the tab browsing in there as well not all my devices still not all got that but uh, this one has so there's some fixes in there uh, like I mentioned earlier about surface products that's been fixed so you can use that now with coming out of hibernate um, they fixed some issues with going to uh, green screen and death they fixed a couple of issues with that actually. Uh, they fixed some issues where uh, inventory sync w was consuming high volume uh, volumes of memory. They fixed a couple of issues with uh, File Explorer rearranging issue uh, tabs. Uh, they fixed some start issues and some taskbar issues and some settings as well. There is still some uh, known issues with this build um, around the micro and acrylic sort of um, look and feel up here in the title bars uh, they, they've got to uh, sort that out um, the cheat software is still an issue the up arrow in file explorer tabs may not always be uh, aligned correctly and there's still some live change uh, live caption issues as well so that's the main changes in build uh, 25145 for windows insiders on the dev channel uh, thanks for watching this video you can find out more on our youtube channel on the